Recently, I've been trying hard to use operators that either aren't meta or that I normally don't use. Today, I decided to start using Gridlock again, partly because of her recent buff where she got a fourth set of track stingers, and also because I really like her F90. Never seen anyone hold this room. Oh, I actually had a free kill there. My teammate shooting that. Fuck, where'd that camera go? Am I blind? I'm blind. I can't see it. I'm legally blind. Yeah, but my teammate shot my own track stairs. with that. That was an ace. Let's go. Gridlock amazing. Everyone should use Gridlock. So good. If you play Gridlock, you too can get an ace like that and almost throw it three separate times. But I didn't throw it because I had the Varsity Gaming Charm, which you can get for free by just subbing to my Twitch channel using Twitch Prime. Now that is a nice clip of fragging out as Gridlock, but she really is more of a playmaker for getting the diffuser down. So I tried to focus more on that in the next match. kept seeing each other. Oh, there was a campaign trap on the left. I just saw it. I planted. This is an unlosable situation for the Nomad. I think that should have been a headshot. They're on it. Oh no, they're not. I swear I heard the zzz, zzz. That was a good try though. Now even though we lost that round, it does go to show how good Gridlock can be as a plant initiator. You throw some smokes to break line of sight, and then you spam track singers down and start planting. The singers make so much noise while deploying that the defenders either won't hear you at all, or they won't be able to tell exactly where you are. Now obviously one clip isn't enough to really determine whether an operator is good or not, so I figured let's play a full match with her. I wasn't expecting to make this into a video, so this recording kind of caught me in an awkward part. We were talking about hyperscape and how it died, so I'm going to be talking a lot about that at the beginning. Marion's was aim assist, no content, poor management as well as the Komodo. Again, the argument of aim assist I think is stupid, because aim assist was already broken as shit. Ask Priest. Priest says, since the beginning, this was before that video talked about aim assist, like before the new update that increased aim assist or whatever came out. Um, Priest talked about how aim assist in uh, that game was just busted that like doesn't matter how bad you are you could out aim a pc player 
with aim assist. Like, that's how strong it was. Nothing changed there. Like, if they made it stronger, sure, I can understand why that would suck, but, like, it was already a problem. Yeah, not Halo aim assist, hyperscape aim assist. Although, Halo infinite aim assist uh, in the beta was probably just as bad, if not worse, than hyperscape aim assist. Because in the beta, you could just let go, and it would track perfectly. Like, someone's walking across here, your aim is staying right on them. You don't have to do anything. Whole issue with crossplay FPS is either mouse and keyboard has big advantage or controller gets aimbot. I mean, I feel like you can still do aim assist and only give them a slight advantage. Like, overall, you shouldn't be surprised if PC has an advantage. Like, PC is just more accurate. If you don't like it, don't play crossplay, you know? You don't have to play crossplay. That's how I see it. You can play against other people with the exact same skill cap as you. But then people will still play crossplay and then complain about it. So I don't, I don't know what to do. timing. One's in the hallway to the left, Ash, and then there's one in the other site. I forgot about Capcan. Wait, did I? Oh, I think I had healed me. I would have survived that. I think I had uh, like 50 health, which is exactly how much they would need to kill me. No cams. Where'd she go? Oh, she's on the bookshelf. Good job, the last one's in sight. It's my favorite spot. It doesn't work on low elo though. I always put cap can traps there, but yeah, no one ever pushes it, even in the higher elos. Can you find what the hyperscape devs are doing right now? I know most of them just left to other studios or other projects. Um, what's fascinating to me is how they will take devs who worked on a game like Hyperscape and promote them and be like, good job. It's like, dude, the game died. Why are they being promoted and rewarded? Or like they'll move to other companies and get better positions there because of what they did with the other games. Like, bro, the game was a failure. Why are you commending them for it? There's a word. CC was knocking stuff around on the bookshelf. Wait, did this say I have a warden? Bro, oh, no, that's my whole strat. They have a warden, I'm, I'm fucked here. Stop crying, bitch. My aim feels really rough today. Maybe it's because I've been playing, uh non-FPS games in my free time. Nice. He's sitting behind the chair.
Yeah, my team is trying to take control, control of that site. Sounds like someone's main lobby. Someone's sitting there. This is watching cool vibes. Someone's on bases. I'm a native. Just gonna go for it. Smokes and hookah. He's going back pink and dead. I'm dead. There's one in 90. Wait, oh, he killed too. Bandit. Find the bar. Oh, okay. good shit. Get trade. I, I didn't know he killed Bandit. I thought he killed Capcan. Man, we're so good. I can't believe my plant start actually worked there. But devs are not the ones that call the shots. I mean, when I say devs, I mean, like, the whole development team, including executives and stuff. Like, the the what's called esports director i think it was for for honor got promoted to the like siege esports director not the way you guys someone else before or after i don't know in some position basically got promoted to siege esports and everyone who like was in the for honor community was like what the fuck like he was the worst esports director or something ever and now they moved him to a, like another game. I guess that was good for For Honor, but it was bad for Siege. It's just like it, it doesn't make any sense how they move their devs around. They're just like you've failed at your job. Congratulations. Not you know the perfect example, but a good, somewhat uh, comparison is in the Siege community for the the people who were in charge of handling content creators basically all got changed to different positions and they were good at their job but they got changed to other positions and then we now have other people who handle us who like don't really know what they're doing for the most part it's like well why did we lose our previous contacts it's like, it feels like they just completely butcher who does what good shit I think there's still a cab upstairs. Hmm. Can I just walk in? How the fuck did you get that far in the site already? There's no one. Oh, this is cool. One's in the bathroom, one's in the bathroom. Bathroom. Well, that was easy. Main lobby. I'll come land. When they just give up saying let you walk right in, and then I get the 4k here. She was in bar. Good job. They just don't play sight whatsoever. It's true. They didn't play sight at all. For Honor is a really fun game. I mean... Their dwindling community would kind of disagree. I'm gonna be right back. CC 100% just fell down the pit, which is what we call the hole in our staircase. She was downstairs running amok, and then I just heard like a big smash. And then Annie went to go downstairs and check, and uh, CC came up from the basement, meaning she fell probably from the second or first floor to the basement. YouTube reels all the time. It's the first time I'm streaming. Welcome. I'm always 
thinking about like what I need to do with my reels. Right now I have them set up where they don't notify subscribers because I don't want to piss people off by having too many notifications. But I feel like so many people are subscribing to my channel for the shorts that I should push them to people more. I'm sure CC will be okay. Pushing up cool vibes, it was an ash. Another one on the sunrise. One's on hookah bell. Coming up sunrise, ash. He's in the kitchen doorway right now if you want to pre fire him. Good, shit. good call. One's one this guy hasn't like gotten a lot of frags, but he is just yes, he the best call out person in the world. What side? He has given I'm so many sure calls for so many about. different things. We'll ignore his name. There's a Finca somewhere. Oh, maybe not. There's one more in VIP. One tap him. Um, I hit him. Good job. Couldn't do the one tap. Even though I did well in this match, I don't know if I'd necessarily say Gridlock is a great overall pick, even with her recent buff. For the role of flank denial, Gridlock just sucks. The tracks are so easy to break or get around that you might as well have nothing covering your flank. Nomad is just always the better pick. For planting, I do think that the way I played works pretty well, but it would really only work once before the enemy prepares for it. Which leads me to say that I think Gridlock is in a solid place right now, but only as a pocket pick. Which is an operator that you bring just to make a play work once, and then you don't bring them again. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.